at the wrong end of this thing. No way. Yeah, dude, I don't know how I did that. That would have been a bonehead move. That would have been awesome. Alright, All right, everybody, how is it going? Um, welcome to the Bakersfield, gentlemen. And I am trying to find, here we go, live now. That's the one I'm looking for. Volume should be muted on uh, YouTube. There we go. Excellent. Uh, welcome to the show, you guys, on YouTube. Um, thank you so much for joining us today, and thank you guys for joining us on uh, Facebook as well. Uh, there's no way to get the comments while I'm doing it like that, huh? No. So I got to do it like this. That's All right. ridiculous. No comments? So. Can't go that route. There we go. Awesome. Uh, Mike, you want to let people know what we're doing uh, today? Well, uh, not, we're not doing much. We're just going to hang out, guys. Nothing important. Oh, wait. I'm wrong. Because today is the number two on our top ten list for 2018. Both myself and for Frankie, I think we have some very strong choices here. I am very happy with, with Frankie's. I think he's finally making some good decisions in life. Um, because everything he's been picking is getting better and better. And I feel for myself, I've been doing the same thing. I think um, this year has been some of the best things. Randy, how are you doing today, sir? Hope you're having a great day. Uh, thank you for tuning in on Facebook. But um, pretty soon, the live shows are going to be a YouTube exclusive kind of thing. Obviously, we'll share to Facebook, guys. Um, but they're going to be on YouTube. So I hope you'll you'll stick with us in that. We haven't made an announcement exactly what day. Right. But we're going to let you guys know way in advance, right? We are on YouTube right now. Um, for those of you guys that do use, use YouTube uh, more frequently, uh, we are currently on YouTube streaming as well. Yeah. So thank you to everybody that's joining us on YouTube. And I am not, for whatever reason, getting the video. There we go. That is, that's the right one right there. That's the right one. Okay. But it's not like it's going to be... Nothing's going to change, guys. Nothing other than the platform we start on. Only difference. Um, we'll still post everything else to here. There'll still be... Um, photos and vlogs here every day and uh, yeah yeah I just want to make sure I keep that posted to you guys I don't want to leave you out of the loop especially what Frankie's doing to share and doing a great job when I can't unfortunately I can't share until uh, tomorrow night at 8 o'clock for some reason Facebook is just they've upset me but do you mind if I go into my cigar for no, no no please do please do please do I don't uh, want to keep anybody waiting guys we talked about this cigar actually a lot on on the show uh, many times uh, for its rarity for my love of this cigar, Frankie's love of this cigar, I know I'm not alone, right? Right. Um, for the burn time you get out of it, um, the flavors, the the fact that it is almost that love it or hate it, take it or leave it kind of cigar that I've heard a lot of differing opinions on. But in my book, I absolutely love it. It's one of my very favorite cigars of all time. I know I say this quite often, but today, guys, I am having an LFD... Andalusian Bowl. One of my absolute favorite cigars right here. And yes, I think the uh, scarcity kind of factors into that because usually um, the cigars I go for aren't this size. This is a different shape altogether. There's, it's very unique. Um, LFD is not one of my number one companies I go to, but they really knocked it out of the park, park with this guy. And they even have a smaller version of this with the same... Um, structure in the same, or not structure, excuse me, same um, blend type um, for those who aren't looking for something so big. Because this is a big guy. This is a two, almost two and a half hour smoke sometimes. Especially when you're enjoying yourself, taking your time, maybe watching a movie like the mm -hmm. first time I had one. And uh, thanks to some people out there. What's up? Uh, Barry says, how's it going, gentlemen? And uh, Lonnie says, hello. Um, Mark Gomez has also joined us. Hey, guys. I hope you're having a good day. Barry, I will be watching you guys on Thursday, I believe you said, that you guys are doing a special episode because uh, you don't want to do something on Christmas. I totally get that. Uh, I think we're moving ours around, too, for, for Christmas. Day. We will. We'll be going a day earlier um, for Christmas, so we'll be doing our number one cigar of the year uh, on Christmas Eve, guys. Nice. I like that. Um, I hope you guys will tune in for that, then. I know it's a, it's a little bit of a, a tough time, you know, New Year's Eve for everyone out there. You got family stuff to do. And uh, family's coming in from out of town, or you have to go to them. Uh, maybe you're traveling on New Year's Eve. That happens a lot, too. Very difficult situation. Yes, yes, it is. But uh, I hope we can be a little break from your hectic life at that moment. Or I hope you get a chance to just relax and watch with us and have a cigar with us. That would be great as well. I'm going to go ahead and borrow your cutter. Cause yep, go ahead. I can't pinch this one. i gotta, I got to cut this. In fact, I... 
really use the non-perfect cutter. Do we have anything else going on here? Uh, somewhere, I'm sure. I think we do. So, uh, so Miguel said he has number four or number two cigar of the year, and uh, I gotta say, I think he did a pretty damn good job uh, picking his cigar. Um, it's a cigar I really like a lot, and it was on my list uh, last year, and uh, I really, really enjoyed it. So I can't say anything wrong about that. But uh, my cigar, I got a lot of flack because of another cigar people thought should have been higher on my list. And the reason I didn't put it higher on my list is because I have another cigar from the same company. That's right, you guys. I have two cigars from the same company on my top ten list this year. What? And I got to say... I love their cigar that I put on my list earlier, but the reason I chose this cigar is because I've been smoking the cigar and smoking the cigar, and I haven't really been talking about it. But when I came to realize it, I smoked this cigar probably only second to one other cigar that I smoke. Now, I've smoked a lot of uh, Sinistro Last Cowboy Maduros. I've smoked a lot of Roma Craft. Uh, Cro-Magnons and Intemperance this year, a lot of Southern Draw this year, a um, lot of Oliva this year, but this cigar, I have smoked and smoked and smoked, and I have not talked about it like I've had the other cigars. I think that's maybe because a lot of the cigars that we tried this year were brand new out of IPCPR, and we had a lot going for us because this was our first time at the event. So, that's a solid point. Uh, I really dig this cigar, and... Uh, I know the owner quite well, uh, great guy, and they came out with this particular shape, and it has been phenomenal. People have absolutely loved it, and I actually, when we were in Modesto, uh, I purchased a cigar for somebody that was up there that said, hey, I like cigars that are full body, full strength, full flavored. Uh, this is what I smoke, and they were having an event for this guy's company there, and I said, hey, you know what? I'll be right back. I purchased this exact cigar. I gave it to him. I said, uh, let me know what you think of it. He smoked the first half of it, got up, got a five pack and said, yeah, I love him. Nice. Now he got nice. him the exact same size. And this size is not cheap, especially here in California. Uh, they do come into normal uh, sizes, uh, but this special edition limited run uh, is absolutely amazing. So I don't want to um, hold the suspense any longer than I have to, but I've been trying to. Yeah, I've been waiting to see if he, he joined us right here, but it look, doesn't look like he's going to just yet. I was yet. wondering what you were doing, holding it down like yeah, that. I'm yeah, like, it's down here so people oh can't see goodness. just yet. But uh, yeah, drum roll in here. Yeah, so you guys, I think people know the company. I just think they're going to be surprised on the cigar it is. So you guys, uh, my number two cigar of the year is, of course, the Swisher Sweet. No, <laughs> no it is the Sinistro Mr. Red Scala. This is an absolutely beautiful cigar. My shirt probably gave it away. Uh, but this is an absolutely beautiful cigar. If you guys are familiar with the core line from the Sinistro brand, uh, you guys will know the Mr. Red. It is their top of the line, uh, fullest strength, fullest flavor, most complex cigar that they make to date. And uh, this cigar they did in the Scala size, which is this uh, almost figurado uh, shape, I would say, with the uh, shag foot and this beautiful... Uh, Tobacco that wraps around it. So Coleman has just joined us. Coleman, what's going on, brother? I just hey. revealed uh, the sir? Mr. Red Scala as my number two cigar of 2018. Coleman is uh, one of the great people that works for Sinistro that we got a chance to hang out with over at IPCPR and just talk and smoke Sinistro uh, every chance we get. Um, one of the best boutique companies out there. One of the best cigar brands out there in general. Oh, yeah. And... I mean, what they do, what they come up with is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, for those of you guys that never heard of Sinistro or don't have them in your area, it's definitely something you're going to want to do. You know, whether you need to call uh, James and say, hey, James, what can I do to get Sinistro into my town? Uh, Manny, thank you for joining us. Hey, Manny. Um, and uh, thank you, Manny, by the way. Oh, yeah. We got the cutters. Thank you. And the lighters. Yeah, using it right now, actually. So, yeah, that's uh, – wow, I just burned myself. That was awesome. Uh, that's something you guys are definitely going to want to do. They hit the ground running with the last cowboy in natural and Maduro, uh, at IPCPR, and their, uh, stock is, like, backward like crazy. Everybody yeah. wants these cigars, you guys. Um, I can't say enough for how well they're doing, uh, with their core line 
and their extension lines. Um, Sinicio is just hitting on all cylinders and doing some great stuff. When they came along with these scholars, I was like, damn, that's awesome. And that's for good reason, too, because they are not just... The design is amazing. First of all, i got to say, this is the most eye-catching thing I've seen out there. Um, and I'm looking at a lot of cigars. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I might not be the number one guy out there for cigars in the world, but that is unbelievably attractive. It's one of the most unique designs I've ever seen out there. It's one of the best smokes out there. I, I firmly believe you made the right choice with this cigar. Yeah. Now, I know I've been talking to you guys. Like I said, I had Sinistra on my list as the number six cigar of the year as well for the last Cowboy Maduro. And a lot of people that have been watching this show are like, what are you talking about? You talk about the cigar all the time. How is it not high on your list? When I was making my list, I realized I had actually smoked more Mr. Reds uh, than almost any other cigar this past year. Then there's been a lot. I've there's gone through a lot. a lot of Mr. Reds. And when it hit me, I was like, wait a minute. I was looking back at the bands I've saved. I was looking at different vlogs I did. I was just going back off of recollection. I was like, this Mr. Red is a, the, uh, probably the most frequent cigar I've smoked this year. That's why I went with it as my number two as opposed to The Last Cowboy. Um, That's a good point. They're both fantastic cigars, fantastic flavors. Um, either way you go, you guys are going to get your money's worth. But for me, on my list, I had to go with the one that I smoke more often. And for me, that was the Mr. Red. Not the Scala, because they are hard to find, uh, but the Mr. Red. And when I was able to get the Scala, I was like, hands down, this is the one that's going on my list. Yeah, it has a whole new experience to it. I love the design of that Scala. I think it's absolutely awesome. Uh, if you have not had a chance to get your hands on some, please do. Do whatever you have to. Bribe someone if you need to. It, it is worth it. Absolutely. 100% of the time. Yeah, it's just such a fun shape, you guys. Uh, the way that they go. Again, I think it's kind of like that. Almost like a Figurado type shape. Um, yeah. And then they have that tobacco that wraps around. It's just phenomenal, you guys. It, it's just a lot, a lot of fun. And uh, people love it. People love the shape of these... Uh, of these scholars and for good reason you guys they smoke well i've never had any draw issues with one no. No. um i've never had you know um any breaks or anything like that and and the the tobacco on there the that little twine on the outside it burns beautifully as the cigar smokes so um i absolutely dig it and for those of you guys who have tried the scholar sizes and any of them let me know what you think they have in the havana viejas they have in the mr white the mr red the mr black let me know what you guys think I would really like to know what you guys think of these. Absolutely, yeah. I would like to hear that too because the complexity on them is spot on. For anyone out there, I think you can definitely enjoy this. I don't know anyone that I have given one to or I've talked to about almost the entire Sinistro line. Only positive feedback every time. Oh, yeah, I absolutely agree. I have not heard not one bad thing about him. We have a gentleman uh, in the shop. Uh, his name is Jerry, and he's a regular. He's there more often than we are. And he has two go-to cigars. Yeah. He has the Oliva Series V, the original, not the Melania, the original. Which is good. And when he wants to splurge on himself, he'll get the Opus X. Yep. And Joe, thank you for joining us. That's all. And when we introduced him to the last Cowboy Maduro, he said, I found the next cigar in my rotation. As soon as they came into the shop, we bought the first box. He bought the second box. Uh, that's how well the last Cowboy Maduro has been doing. Yep. Um, but we have James watching us now. Uh, James, how you doing, brother? Uh, well, sir. Re uh, releasing our number two picks of the year. Uh, Mike, you want to go over yours again? Yeah, I have chosen from La Flor Dominicana, the Andalusian Bull. It's actually number one in 2016 mm -hmm. to, for the um, uh, Cigar Aficionado's Top 25 list, and which is how I actually got introduced to this. We were hunting it down. It was that moment right before it came out that, oh, it's in the shop. Let's go ahead and grab that. And then yeah. after that, it was gone. Just yeah, they are so hard to find. We barely got a hold of this box a month ago, yeah. and uh, yeah, it's it's been it's been tough to get in the shop, you guys. Uh, my number two cigar of the year. Now that we have both James and Coleman watching, uh, is something that uh, they introduced us to because it's James's company, the Mister Red uh, Scala. Absolutely wonderful pick. And again, you guys, I. I can't say what an awesome shape the cigar is and what a pleasure this is to smoke. I mean, the flavors are always on point. The draw is always on point. But the uniqueness of this shape, much like Miguel's Andalusian Bull, kicks it up into another uh, level 
uh, of, of cigar smoking. I gotta say, yeah, this number two all obviously fell into that realm of something that's not just amazing to smoke because the Mr. Red Scala is amazing to smoke. I absolutely love the Andalusian Bull, and I respect those out there who don't, but for me, it is one of my absolute favorites. But the shapes to them are very eye-catching. Yes, absolutely. It, it seems like number two was just taken over by that. And I, um, we have some comments, um, it seems. we got a, got a few over there. Oh, we do, we do. Uh, Manny says, you're welcome. Joke uh, says, uh, gents. He also says, how my brothers with a great cookie mother. And Jan says, my dudes, thank you guys. You're awesome. We appreciate it, James. And we appreciate these very, very much. Yeah, thank you for putting out one of the cigars that we can't stop buying. Oh, my goodness. It's, uh, it's between that, I think. No, yeah, it's got to be a Sinistro whenever I go into our local and we're just sitting there for a minute. Like, yeah, I'm going to have a cigar. I'm not going to bring it with me every time. Let me grab a Last Cowboy. Let me grab a Mr. Red. I got to say, I was super, super scared that I wasn't going to find any in the shop. I went in today. Oh. Uh, I located our section where the Sinistros were. I could not find them. And I was freaking out. I said, Trina, what is going on? I need that cigar for today. Uh, what's going on? I cannot find it. You guys had them. Uh, you guys had a couple. When I was in here last time, where did they all go? Did you sell out? She's like, we might have sold out. So I went back inside, and sure enough, uh, the boss is rearranging some stuff to get them higher up. And uh, they already started moving some of the boxes. So um, I found this guy, and I was super, super happy. Um, yeah, can't say enough about how happy I was. I was able to find this one. And uh, there's only like two more left. So uh, if anybody's in the Bakersfield area and you guys want to try the Mr. Red um, Scala, you're going to have to get into your cigars more pretty soon. Because they are almost out of these guys, and they are limited edition and very, very hard to get. Yeah, that is true. It absolutely is true. And I think that's another thing that fell into our number two list is the rarity of the cigars. Um, I didn't want to add anything on my list that would be impossible for you guys to get. They're not impossible to get. They right. are. You can find them. Um, you can find them at great prices. I know they're a little bit higher on the price end, but you're paying not just for a great stick, but for a great experience. Mm -hmm. I think they both absolutely... Um, justify their price points because I believe mine is, is 16 in our area. I'm sure it's different for you guys as far as the Andalusian bull goes. I mean, California taxes are weird, so we deal with what we have to deal with. But for that price point, um, it's always been a good thing for me. Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't matter because I very much enjoy it. There are plenty of cigars that are, are more than that that are worth it as well. There are a million cigars out there that are lower than that price point that are definitely worth their price point, if not more. But right here, is a wonderful experience and i think that they they kind of put a little higher they could have went a little lower for some but in my my opinion it's exactly where it should be and i thank them for that because yes. i mean yes there is the atabay like i believe you had on your list um there are the opus x's which are which are nice they're great mm -hmm. um but if i'm going to kind of splurge on myself if i'm going to celebrate something if i'm going to have a special occasion if i want to just have a great time for a few hours this is where I go to, and it's it's not that much. It's right. half the price of a lot of those. And it's still, uh, in my book, uh, right up there with them as far as quality goes. So I'm, I'm pretty happy for that. Uh, Stephen Jones said, Merry Xmas, kids. How you doing tonight? Um, no, I absolutely agree. You know, uh, I like that cigar, actually. If I'm going to watch a football game, and I know I have time to sit down and watch the whole game. Uh, it's, it's a cigar I love to get because it gives me a very long burn time, which I love. I love that about that cigar. Um, the burn time you get off of that is probably one of the longest bird times I've ever gotten in a cigar without getting into those crazy like 7x70 seven or 8x80 eight sizes. Yeah, you're not going for that uh, uh, Asylum 13 sizes or uh, JFR, which was ridiculous. The Lunatic, the JFR Lunatic. Um, I enjoyed, but I, I don't have that kind of time. It doesn't happen. Yeah, no. And you guys already, that little bit of twine uh, tobacco is already starting to burn off beautifully. And the way that it burns with the ash is so unique and it's so cool. Um, it, it's just one of those aesthetically pleasing things that I like to see in a cigar like this when they're giving you something extra like that. Uh, I just think it adds to the overall smoking experience. And the way that they've constructed these, it's just it's just awesome. Yeah, no, absolutely. And uh, I like the fact that they did something special for their, uh, for their core line because they are phenomenal to begin with. And you made something phenomenal, even better. That's incredible. That's a great thing to do right there. Uh, so he says, that's a pretty big Alec Bradley Sanctums. Uh, you know, speaking of Alec Bradley, we finally got a couple of Magic Toasts. Haven't smoked them yet. Haven't smoked them yet, but we got some in. And as a matter of fact, we also bought um, uh, 
Magic Toast for for Mitch, who was a big Alec Bradley fan. Yeah. That was his early Christmas present. Um, they take two hours of smoke. Great for baseball games. That's awesome. Okay. Yeah, Jen, I didn't mean twine. I meant tobacco. Um, I just, I refer to anything that's like that twine, I guess. This guy. But, um, yeah. And, and the way that, like I said, the way that it burns with the ash, it, it's it's amazing. It really, really is, you guys. Um, no, it's, yeah, it is, it is, I want to make sure everyone knows, yeah, it is uh, tightly rolled tobacco. Yeah. It could be, a, you could call it a tobacco twine if you wanted to, but it's still fully tobacco. It's 100% natural tobacco, which is awesome. Um, they do it a little bit for uh, the Anaconda, the Amazon Basin, and... Damn it. Don't tell me. I want to say it. Fuma M. Corda. Yes. The Fuma M. Corda um, from CAO. All three of those have a little bit for their band instead of a normal traditional band, which mm -hmm. is nice. It's cool looking. But this just takes it up to a whole new level. I don't like the way they do it on the Anaconda because where this one stops where you put your mouth, the Anaconda goes all the way up to where your mouth goes. Yeah. And it gives an odd shape feeling to the mouth. I don't like it. Yeah. Um, the Fuma M. Corda was fine. Uh, the, the basin was fine, but that anaconda for me, I just, I can't enjoy it because it has that little piece that just sits on your lip and it feels weird. Yeah. No, don't care for that. The, yeah. That stops right where it needs to stop Yeah, because I don't want that in my mouth like that. It just doesn't feel right. That's why I don't go for the larger ring gauges. This is probably the biggest I like to go right here and it's, it's perfectly fine for me. I was thinking about the cigars. Nuts. Oh, okay. So he said he doesn't like it because of, uh. When they sit on the ashtray, it doesn't sit flat, and sometimes it drops. So I get that. Oh, well, that's why you that. need to get a hold of Cigar Prop. And boom. My big guy at its probably its biggest point. Frankie, can you try yours out? I can. Let's see. Hit up, just fine. Hit up Cigar Prop and get yourself a stand. These things are absolutely incredible. If you want one, that's going to go with you wherever you want to go. And I don't know why I haven't done this. I told myself I was going to put it in my wallet. Very thin. Two pieces of very nice stainless steel with their logo on it, which wasn't really show well on camera. I'm sorry, guys, but no matter where you're at, you have a stand. Yep. You can have a, an ashtray like those freaking cigar, cigarette smoker ones where it's just a perfect circle. <laughs> he like, said he would ash the table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's okay. You know what? Do whatever you need to do. All right, Chris Haskell's joined us. He just finished watching uh, Venom for the second time. Good movie. Good stuff. I think uh, I think Venom would be a cigar smoker if he was. Oh yeah. Time. If he didn't not like fire, I guess. But that's a that's a whole different nerdy story right there. Great movie though. And uh, another little plug I want to do because uh, I'm just gonna plug some stuff right now, uh, guys. Our Patreon. We have a new tier for you guys out there. At fifteen dollars a month, you will get our experimental infused cigar pack. We are doing four different infusions next year, three different timelines for each one of them. It's a one month, three month, and six months. So the first one we're going with, that one, the little um, vote we had a couple weeks back, is the coffee flavor. So if you sign up now, you will get um, the base cigar. We're just using the Say La Vie for all the bases. This way we know exactly what we're supposed to get and how much of the actual infusion happens. So you'll get that um, in January. And then the beginning of February, we will send out the first one month, um, one month aged, um, one month infused, excuse me, mm -hmm. uh, Say La Vie's with coffee flavoring. Uh, in coffee beans and we will be doing a show dedicated to that so those of you who sign up will be smoking the exact same cigar we will be doing and uh it's gonna be it's an experiment for us we've never done this before uh i know what to do now let's just see if i can do it right yeah. um frank i'll let frankie be the judge of that and uh obviously you guys i hope you will join us for that uh it's the first link in the description above so if you want to check it out please do and uh yeah that's all i gotta say about that yeah this again the uh tobacco uh, twine. But it, it's just the way it burns is super, super cool. No. Um, oh, yeah. Everyone said he's smoking a stick that Mitch gave him. There's no band on it, so he doesn't know what it is. Oh, man. We'll have to get a hold of Mitch and find out. Yep. And uh, Stephen says he loved the trailer. Uh, I started hearing Facebook is crapping. Um, we appreciate you guys watching the trailer. Oh, we thank really, you. really yeah. do. Uh, for those of you that are, uh, Merry Christmas, Manny. We will see you hopefully pretty soon, brother. You have a Merry Christmas, and we'll see you soon. Merry Christmas. Um, for those of you that don't know, besides the show, The Bakersfield Gentlemen, we are a production company. We fall under Watch This Videos, which is why you should see the logo in the corner, yeah? Yeah, it's the corner. Uh, that's why you see that little logo in the corner. They're the main production company that my brother and I run, and we do a lot of filming. Uh, we shot a full-length feature in the summer that's editing right now, and we shot a two-day shoot um, 
Halloween 80 style horror film. Well, Christmas style. Christmas style horror film. Yeah, I don't know why he's a Halloween film. This Sorry. Guy doesn't even know what project And uh, on. it was a lot of fun to shoot in two days. And we oh. just released a trailer yesterday. It's on, on the Facebook page, uh, on my personal Facebook page, on the Bakersfield Gentleman Facebook page. And uh, we really, really appreciate it. If you guys just watch and let us know what you think. It's going to be yeah. uh, edited and released hopefully soon. I'm, I'm doing my best to get it out as quickly as possible, hopefully by Tuesday. Um, if not, just write as soon as we can. Uh, it was it was a lot of stressful moments, but it was a lot of fun to do as well. Yeah, uh, Christmas party massacre. If you guys want to check it out on Facebook, I didn't link it. I wasn't going to talk about it really, but I really do appreciate uh, you guys checking it out. That yes. was really nice of you guys, and I hope you enjoy it. Hope it's uh, hope it's funny for you guys. Uh, no cigars in it, unfortunately. I think we should have worked. No, it no. Um, some of the people that were on set had certain medical conditions, or they couldn't be around a lot of smoke, uh, so we had to cut out on some of the effects and stuff we wanted to do, but. Uh, Still, it's a great sh it's a great movie, you guys. And in true fashion of Bakersfield, gentlemen, we drank a lot when we were doing it. So that's a good point. Uh, we, did. we did a lot of that. Here's a, here's a question for you guys: If you knew at the end of your Christmas party you're gonna get murdered, what cigar would you have during the party? Hmm. I wouldn't mind one of these. I would absolutely go for an Andalusian Bull. If I'm gonna if I'm gonna be murdered, might as well go out in style. Uh, he wants to know where it's gonna go out at. Hmm, excuse me. We will be uh, self distributing this one through Vimeo, which our Vimeo page will be linked to as well. If you want to pre-order now, um, it is on our Wasness Videos uh, Square Up store, which I'll put the link in the description below. Again, I'm sorry, guys. I did not expect to talk about this, but I hope uh, if you want to do the pre-order, it's five dollars now, and um, you will have the movie as soon as it's released. Uh, Steven says, "I'll leave a V." Very nice, very nice. Good call. Um, you want to go ahead and end YouTube for whatever reason? It's frozen and it's just not running. Oh no! All right. Um, but yeah, so we have a lot of fun doing the the movies that we make. And uh, you guys can see my beautiful cinematography work because uh, that's what I really like to do, you guys. I like to be the one holding the camera and uh, doing stuff like that. So oh, maybe it's just me. Yeah, you might just need a refresh. Uh, if you are watching on YouTube, which won't help if you're on Facebook because we can't really tell you what to do. <laughs> um, yeah, we're still, we should still be running. Um, yeah, Frankie did a great job of that. He also acted in this one. I acted in it myself. And I uh, haven't done that in a while, so I'm pretty proud of myself. <laughs> yeah, no doubt Hot Model's fun. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Uh, Timmy Haig has just joined us. Um, I would like to congratulate him on his uh, yes. recent engagement. Uh, he's finally able to trick a woman into saying yes, so congratulations to Timmy. Uh, Keep making her happy because she's way prettier than you do. Uh, no, I've, no. I've known this kid since uh, he was in grade school, and we worked at his father's uh, surplus shop in Ventura. And... Uh, yeah, uh, he. For those of you who don't know, he owns uh, Arsenal Comics and Games uh, out in uh, Ventura, and now they they have their first location that is for the life of me I can't remember Newberry Park. Newberry Park thank yeah, you so much. Um, their original location, Newberry Park, they just opened one in Ventura, which is our hometown. Which and awesome. Um, just awesome, man. Yeah, he gets uh, nominated for awards at San Diego Comic Con every year since he's opened, so I think that's awesome. Uh, if you guys ever have any comic book questions, make sure you get a hold of them. Arsenal Comics and Games. Uh, just look them up, you guys. They're, they're just an awesome, awesome bunch of people down there. And, uh, again, congratulations to Timmy and uh, uh, to his new fiance as well. Absolutely. That's awesome, man. Yeah, congrats. But where were we at? We were talking cigars for a moment, and I want to get back to that. Yes. Uh, you want to tell people... Uh, again, what you're smoking and why you're smoking it? Guys, we are doing number two in our top ten list for 2018. And it's probably the only repeater from last year. Um, no, no. We're yeah. Done. There's, there's... No, I put the uh, Oliva Series V Milano on mine. So we had two repeaters. Had two from repeaters last from last year, but that's about it. Um, and mine for this year, my number two is the LFD, La Florida Dominicana, the Andalusian Bull. Now, oddly enough, both of those guys that repeated were on my list last year, and they're on your list this year. Well, because last year we decided we're going to go to completely different lists, and this year we have some overlapping. Yes. So, being that Frankie is the main host of this show, he decided, hey, let me go ahead and take the cigars you want to put on your list and put them on mine before you even have a chance. So I had to kind of scramble my list around and still had some great cigars in there. Luckily... Um, there's a lot of great cigars out there, so it made it pretty easy to do so. Uh, for my number two cigar, you guys, I went with one from Sinistro. Uh, it is the Mr. Red Scala, which is their limited edition uh, cigar, which comes in this uh, really cool, almost kind of like Figurado shape, uh, but then it is wrapped in a uh, twine of grade A tobacco. Mm -hmm. And the, again, again, you guys, the way that it burns, uh, 
while you're smoking it. It's just really, really cool. You actually see it on the ash itself. And these cigars, although uh, limited edition, whoa, what? Those The bulls are like $70 a, a stick in Canada. How much money we got right there, bro? Oh, my God. How many do we have left? I think we have seven in here. Yep, two, four, six, seven. So for those of you in Canada that would like an Andalusian bowl. <laughs> yeah, we'll be doing it for, we would never charge you guys $70. Yeah, that's cigar. intense. What's the um, the shipping to you guys? What's the regulations on that? Because if you ever want one, we'll just, we'll go to our store and ship them your way. Right? Holy, no, no, that's just, that's ridiculously unfair. $70. And I thought California was bad. Yeah. God. Yeah, we were fortunate enough to get this box uh, from Cigars and More. Um, every time they get a few boxes in, we always reserve one because they are that hard to get, you guys. Uh, much like the Eye of the Shark was last year, and I think still continues to be. That's very difficult. And, and this year's EP Carullo, for whatever reason, was the number one cigar, you guys. I mean, it's a fine cigar. I just don't know why it was number one. Their whole list, to me, uh, with the exception of their number eight choice, it really threw me off guard. Like, uh, I was talking to uh, our PDR rep yesterday. We both thought it was going to be something from AJ. We both thought it was going to be something from AJ. Why not? He's put uh, a lot of great stuff out. A lot of people thought it was going to be something from Saka, you know, like his uh, Mi Querida or Sin Compromiso. Uh, yeah, I heard a lot of people saying, oh, the Sin Compromiso, Sin yeah. Compromiso. It's great. It really is, but it's not my number one on any list. Um, Saka's got great cigars. But I think there's quite a few out there that I prefer over. The Cro-Magnon yeah. um, being one of them right there. Um, the one you have in your hand right now. The one I have in mine. Um, but if you are a huge, you know, Sokka fan, I can see why you would want to pick that one over an EP. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. I, I would pick that over it too. Let me know your guys' opinion of Cigar Aficionado's list. I really think they dropped the ball this year. Um, although my Oliva Serie Vimelanio remained on the list on the top ten. For like the fifteenth year in a row, um, I just uh, I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, Seems I love the ashtray. Would like to get a nice uh, with the Monty on it. Oh, it would go nice with the Mon with the Monty. Huh. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I actually won this bad boy uh, at a long ash contest. It came with the lighter too, the nub lighter. Well, he robbed me from it. I uh, I was winning that. I don't know how I lost. Still, I think there was some kind of collusion, but. Well, I won't let that stop me. But um, for those of you watching on YouTube, uh, we do thank you guys for watching. Um, if you guys want to make any comments on there, I am watching it on the uh, laptop. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. We're also streaming on our Facebook page. Um, oh, we do have a few. Okay, we cool. are going to start going more towards YouTube, uh, only because that's just the way everybody seems to be going, and it doesn't seem to be as messed up as Facebook is. No. So. Um, we will short, 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 we will surely, but slowly be going over to YouTube, you guys. Um, we're going to still keep up with the Facebook postings, the vlogs, that kind of stuff. Oh, we'll we'll but, keep at uh, least like four weeks notice before that kind of switch happens. Oh, guys. yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll yeah. be a long, drawn out process of us like, hey, we're going to go to YouTube. Don't worry, we're going to YouTube. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I don't think it's, it's not this episode we're starting that. Mm. No. We will have a good rollout for you guys. Um, probably some giveaways for that first episode. Um, there will be a good... There'll be a matter of fanfare. Yeah, right? we're not going to abandon the Facebook page by any means. It's no. just a lot of the live stuff is just going to be starting to go on to, to YouTube. Yeah. Uh, it just seems to be a friendlier interface for us to be able to use. So um, that's what we'll be doing there. If you haven't actually liked the, or if you haven't subscribed yet, um, be sure to do so and hit that bell so you get the notifications right away, guys. Um, it is the Bakersfield Gentleman on YouTube. It'll pop up right away. Yep. And um, there's a few episodes for you to already watch, some long versions of some cigar conversations. Mm -hmm. There are some condensed just the review parts. So we break it down into that first, second, third um, parts of the cigar. And uh, there are some interviews on there as well. There are some product reviews. Yeah, um, we have some uh, reviews with uh, Felix Asselin, yep. uh rep that we got to talk to at IPCPR. Um, uh, Cattle Baron, we got to talk at IPCPR. Yep. Um, so it's, we've already got some good content on there, you guys. Um, so check it out if you guys have a chance, if you guys use YouTube. Um, What do we have here? Uh, yeah, by the way, I have two of the ghost boxes full of bands and two more on the way. Thank you guys for that great idea. Oh, awesome. Oh, that's cool. Awesome. Oh, NFL predictions. Uh, my prediction is the same every year. Uh, the Patriots win. Uh, mine is that the uh, 
the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are going to really enjoy the time off. We're going to really regroup, plan for next year's, hopefully another victory above our five this year. Hopefully get that illustrious six instead of being bad as usual. Um, yeah, my prediction is always the same, you guys. I always see the Patriots go into the Super Bowl. Um, they're always a really solid team uh, when they're in the playoffs. And Do you see it happening this year, though? I mean, they have been... They're not themselves. They aren't themselves this year. They've lost some really close games that they shouldn't have lost. Uh, that bullshit that happened in Miami. Hey, that was, was a great play. Horrible. I mean, all they had to do was tackle one guy. Hey, that was a, that was a and great. And the game was over. That so. was a great lateral pass. That little two uh, lateral passes, but whatever. It was two, huh? It was. It's whatever. Um, they're going to the playoffs. They should have a first round bye, so get a week to relax uh, uh, before they they face an opponent. So. Uh, I think they'll be well rested. I think Bill Belichick's going to come up with an amazing plan, as he always does with coordinators. And uh, I think they're just going to do ju- just fine. So uh, let me know who you guys think is going to be in the Super Bowl. Um, I think when we get the actual teams that are going to be in the Super Bowl, we'll do a uh, picket, uh, the winner and the score. And the one that gets closest, we'll send them something. Yeah, I would like that. So uh, make sure you guys, if you guys follow football, uh, you guys keep up with that. Find out who's going to be in the Super Bowl. And then uh, let us know who you think is going to win and what the score is, the closest one to do it. Uh, we'll send you guys something. Yeah, that would be awesome. I think it's a good idea. Uh, I would like to know your guys' teams out there too. Uh, and if any of you are Buccaneers fans, we can complain together about us not doing very well. But it's all right. There's always next year. And if you guys are Buccaneers fans, uh, you guys should check out another one of our sponsors, Cigar Porn. Uh, the gentleman who started Cigar Porn... Uh, Actually played for the Buccaneers. Yeah, yeah. He uh, he played for them a few years back, and uh, when he got out of the uh, NFL, um, he was a big cigar lover, and he said he wanted to do something. He didn't want to make cigars, but he wanted to make clothes, and he went with cigar porn, and he's been doing that ever since. And if you guys use the code Bakersfield, you guys will get 10% off of your purchase. Uh, so if you guys are in the market for some cool cigar t-shirts, definitely check them out. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I really love mine. It's very comfortable. They have some other... Uh, Designs to it. Frankie has a black shirt. Mm-hmm. They have an American flag one that I really want to it's grab. It's out of stock. Every time I go yeah. and I, I get an email that they're back in stock, as soon as I go to the site, out of stock, out of stock. They're, they they go super fast. People love those shirts. On that. Yeah, got to be quick on that. But you know what? There's a good reason for it. It's a cool shirt. <laughs> they are they are awesome. I do like them a lot. So, oh, yeah, the, uh, the Oliva Ashtray up for a prize. We could probably get a hold of one. <laughs> Everyone says that his Raiders are protesting the Super Bowl but not playing in it. Good. I think, yeah, I'm going to start saying that, too. Makes me feel better I about it. I don't have an ashtray that I can give as a prize. I just don't know where it's at right now. You know where the box is at? I have no idea. Damn. We'll, to, we'll find that later. I will find it, but if you guys want an ashtray uh, uh, in the uh, prize for the Super Bowl pick, let me know. I have one, and we can definitely, definitely do that. We'll make it happen. Even if we can't find that one, we can make it happen. Uh, our... Uh, Christmas drive for Cigars for Warriors is still going strong, you guys. Um, you guys can stop by Cigars and More and donate a cigar there. Uh, you can uh, find your local donation center and do it there, or you can do it over, um, what is it, uh, donation through Facebook? Yep. Uh, yeah, two Cigars up. for Warriors. Uh, so any way and shape you can, you guys, if you want to donate cutters, lighters, humidification packs, um, travel cases now. Cigars or money, you guys can do that to Cigars for Words. Everything is greatly... Oh, uh, old uh, stock of uh, magazines. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Um, yeah, humidification packs are a huge help yes. to you guys. A little bit of money always helps too. If you want to, you don't have enough for a cigar, go and donate your change. That's a huge help. Uh, it costs quite a bit to ship that stuff It out. does. I mean, shipping is just crazy. So anything helps, really, guys. Anything helps. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so thank you, Steve, for bringing that up. Uh, yeah, Cigars for Words, you guys, great, great organization. I love what they do. If you guys have a chance, check them out on Instagram. Uh, they post some amazing pictures of the troops. They get the uh, the packages they send. And, again, one of my favorites, because I was in the Navy, uh, is four sailors on the deck of a ship uh, smoking a cigar, taking a little cigar break. And you see the ocean behind them. You see them on the deck. And the pictures are just super, super cool. Yeah. Uh, almost absolutely cool. And uh, their Instagram, they post every day. Yep. More pictures so you see where your, uh, where your donations are going. I love that. And I got to say... The flavors I'm getting off of this Mr. Red are amazing. It's it's a full strength cigar, but without that punch that makes you want to just sit down and not do anything. Mm. So you're getting the, the, the full body of a cigar uh, in this stick. And 
yeah, I, I just think it's phenomenal. Do you have a link uh, for your year's top tens? Um, they're all on the page. You just have to scroll through the page. Um, I'll, I'll put them all together on a, playlist. on a post or something so you can see all of them kind of back to back. We actually did 10 through 6 uh, in one video. So we really focused on 5 to 1. And uh, 1 is coming out on Monday. 1 will be out on Monday. So before Monday, or I guess tomorrow then, or, mm -hmm. or later tonight, I will have all of them together on a post. I'll put it, I'll put it to the top. So if you want to catch up on there, um, some of them have, have, that have been in my list uh, include the Serie B Milano. They have the Creolito from uh, PDR, which mm -hmm. was an absolute kind of way out there. Did not expect to love that so much. Absolutely do. Just had this little cigarillo size. What did he call it? I can't remember. It was a G. Uh, uh, Gooch or something. Damn. Yeah, it's going to bug me. It's a size made uh, for Europe, actually. And Jeremy, our rep, was was good enough to bring them in um, to the U.S. Uh, and I'm really glad he did. It's a really nice, like, 20-minute smoke. And, uh, man, just a lot of great flavors in that cigar. Also on my list was um, the Los Cabos from Recluse. There was the Trescentos Manos and Maduro from um, Southern Draw. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Um, Diesel came out with one that was also phenomenal out of nowhere. That whiskey barrel aged mm -hmm. uh, with uh, white... This a rabbit, no, rabbit hole, excuse me, not white rabbit, rabbit yeah, hole whiskey. Rabbit whiskey. Um, another really great one. And another one that I wasn't expecting to love so much, the Punch Diablo, which is a full, that one's probably the fullest one on my list. And that really does give you a good punch. Yep. It's really great stuff. Um, so you wanna... uh, yeah, for me, my number 10 was the Inspirado from Macanudo Black. Uh, my number 9 was the Partigas Legend, which was a new one from IPCPR this year. Um, my number 8 was the Rosa Sharon from Southern Draw. Then I followed that up with the El Borracho from Dapper and the Last Cowboy Maduro. Uh, for my 6 through 10, all but the Rosa Sharon were actually Connecticut Broadleaf wrappers. Huh. So uh, maybe I was just on a Connecticut Broadleaf wrapper kick. I don't know. Uh, but it was definitely up there. And then I had the uh, the Atabe, the Crow Magnon. Um, I had uh, the Mr. Red on there as well. Mr. Red Scala. Mr. Red Scala, yes, the Mr. Red Scala. But would you would you just recommend if you can't get a hold of the Scala, try the Mr. Red, right? Because it is great. It really is. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, yeah, can't say enough uh, great things about Cindy Show uh, and all the other boutique cigars that we've had this past year that have made or not made our list. They're still phenomenal. Um, not to give it away that it wasn't on. Oh. And I forgot, uh, the Bloodline was also on my top uh, five cigars. It was my number uh, four cigar. Was number, yeah, it was number, number four five. cigar of the year. Um, one that, that I really enjoyed, that even though it didn't make my list, is one that I've, I've loved every time I got to smoke it. And unfortunately, when people broke into our work van, my travel case was in there, had my last one. Oh, so cool. I was a little upset about it. Um, but the, uh, the Cattle Baron, mm -hmm. uh, the bull uh, size from Cattle Baron Cigars, was great. Uh, the Wally from Sonrisa Cigars was phenomenal. Uh, the Ego uh, and the Two Saints from Felix Asuline. Oh yeah, great. Uh, the Mr. Brownstone uh, from uh, uh, Carreras. Yep, uh, was amazing. Uh, just so many great cigars uh, that we got this past year. Uh, yeah, it's just you can't say enough about them. It's hard to limit it down, really. Yeah. Um, easily could have done a top 25, but the hardest part for me was where to put them. Very true. Because there are so many that I'm still debating on my own list of, ah, that one could have went higher, but I really do enjoy this one as well. If they all could have um, kind of tied for first, I wouldn't be upset because I would just smoke them all in one very long episode. You'd probably see me turn green, but worth it <laughs> because they're great cigars. Um, just like we did with the uh, Crow Magnum in the anthropolo Anthropology and in the Firecracker size. Yes. Um, great cigars. It's a lot to handle at once, and I'm okay with that. I am okay with that, too. Uh, but, yeah, for our number two cigars, you guys, uh, again, I know a lot of people thought I was going to have The Last Cowboy uh, in this spot, but when I looked at my list and when I thought about all the cigars I smoked this past year, uh, the Mr. Red had to be up there, and it had to be up there high, you guys. Not only is it a fantastic cigar, uh... <laughs> Only issue I have with the last cowboy is no hats available on the website. They're getting that stuff, <laughs> you guys. Don't you worry. Um, I've smoked a lot of Mr. Reds this year. So many, I don't even mention it. 
it's just a cigar that I have in my humidor that I smoke on a constant basis. It really is, yeah. And uh, I figured when it was that consistent for me, and I smoked it, and I enjoy it every time, and it's one that I just go to and grab, I had to put it on my list, and it had to be high. Um, that's why I went with it as my number two. Definitely agree with that. Yeah, it's phenomenal. It really is. I really love the Mr. White, Mr. Black, and Mr. Red. All of them are really great. Uh, the Ivana Vieja has another great one, too. It's hard to kind of pick which one's your favorite out there. Just like um, there's a lot of struggling for me um, between the Los, uh, not the Los Cabos, excuse me, the, um, the Cubo and um, the uh, La Madrina from, from Dapper. Dapper. There's a lot of great cigars from Dapper, a lot of great cigars from um, Skip over at um, gosh, dang it, Roma, Craft. Roma Craft. Thank you. There's, there's just so many good cigars out there that putting together a list that does them all justice is hard to do because they all deserve to be on there. There's a lot of great stuff. Now, as you said, this cigar is phenomenal. Um, if you guys have not had a chance to try a scala size cigar from Sinistro and any of the versions, Mr. Red, Mr. Black, Mr. White, or the Havana Viejas, see what you guys can do and pick one up. They are limited edition, they are hard to get, and they are uh, a bit more than their counterparts um, by the normal standard sizes. But I really think you get it, the bang for your buck on these. Um, you get a good burn time, uh, you get that uniqueness factor, you mm -hmm. get that limited avail availability factor, um, oh, yeah. and you're still getting all those great, great flavors that you would from their counterparts. Definitely agree with that, yeah. And our friend uh, gives uh, two claps for Dapper, which oh. is right up the street in Fresno. 100%, yeah. Great stuff over there. Same with the Bloodline, though, right up the street. Yep. Uh, Michael was nice enough to help us get some on the show. Really, really big thank you uh, to Cigars LTD. Uh, both their stores carry it, so if you guys want to head out there in Fresno or Clovis, get yourself a Bloodline. Oh, yeah. The, the Brunette's wonderful, the Blondie's great, and then the last one, I cannot, the name escapes me, we were asked Yeah, that. I still can't remember the name of the third one. They, they asked us that at the event last night, because we were just talking about the Bloodline for some reason, and the Stone Face, uh, yeah. uh, it's a good one, the good one, and that makes me feel so bad, because I want to be able to tell people exactly what they're looking for. You know, the only one I've had is the Brunette, and by far... It is such a fantastic cigar. Uh, everyone I've given one to has absolutely loved it. And people that know these cigars know how good they are. As a matter of fact, that's how the conversation started. Is a gentleman came in for the PDR event. He bought some PDR cigars. And then he asked, hey, do we have the Bloodline uh, Maduro Brunette? And as soon as I heard that, my ears perked up. I said, well, who's talking uh, uh, Brunette? So yeah, it's we true. had a nice little talk with him. It was really cool. Uh, anytime he's up in Fresno, he always goes to a restaurant that's in the same shopping center. So afterwards, you go, oh, I'm going to go have a cigar. And he always goes for those bloodlines. Good pick. Good thing to do right there. I love that. I love that lounge they have. Very friendly people. Um, they have a little wine bar right next to it that will bring you your drinks right over there. It's a great time. It really oh, absolutely. is. absolutely. It really, really is. I, I really hope we can do a show from over there pretty soon. Oh, yeah. That'd be uh, a lot of fun. I love that place. It really is nice. Now, you guys, I don't know if you guys can see it on the stream, but the way that that tobacco wrap holds on to the ash... It's really, really cool, really, really unique, and I think Sinistro just hit it out of the park uh, by doing that little extra to it, and their rollers are just such skilled craftsmen to be able to, to get that, and the way it looks as the ash burns is just phenomenal. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's you can see where where the tobacco was on the cigars, mm -hmm. leaving that shape to it. I think that's really cool. It's another very unique thing that you get when you're having that Mr. Red Scala. Yeah. Just incredible. really is. So how's that uh, Andalusian Bull, Mike? Phenomenal. I do love this cigar. It really is one of my very favorites out there. The flavors, it's got a really nice leatheriness to it. Some nice oakiness. It's uh, it's not too heavy, but there's some very decent complexity going on. Um, the shifts aren't um, night and day like some other cigars, but it's the notes that I get are exactly what I want the entire time anyway. And with its longer burn time, I'm kind of going through a little faster than usual right now. But... Try to get through the whole the whole thing by the show. I wish I could, but it's not gonna happen. <laughs> I don't see that happening. And, but you're uh, about halfway through. I think about halfway, yeah. But my goodness, it's just wonderful. It, every time I have this cigar, it's a great experience. Um, usually, again, it's for something important or something I'm celebrating. Or uh, as Frankie said, I think you said it's more of your like when you have the time you're watching a game or something. For me, it's it's got to be better than it's got to be the Super Bowl. Or it's yeah. got to be uh what I, I, I will grab one of those when I know I have the time to sit down and smoke it for a good two hours, two and a half hours. 
and I want to just have one cigar. Uh, there's a lot of times when I'll go to the club and I'll take my travel kits full of different stuff when I know I'm going to have time and I'll get different cigars and stuff. But when I want to sit down, watch a movie, have one cigar, that is a go-to cigar for me. Um, although I am careful on when I smoke them because, as you know, they're very rare. Yeah, that's another thing. I don't, um, I don't wait for those moments where I know I'll have the time. I want to make the time for it because it's worth giving it that time. Finding a nice whiskey on our back shelf right here or, you know, going my extra step and brewing some really good coffee. Mm -hmm. I do love coffee with this cigar. Um, and really just enjoying myself, whether it is at a party or a family get together and I have a, a chance to break away from everyone and just relax with some other cigar smokers. Mm -hmm. um, the moment's got to be right because the cigar deserves that. And it's it really is my my gift to myself sometimes. Yeah, I absolutely agree. Uh, for those of you guys that have ever smoked an Andalusian Bull, uh, you guys know what Miguel's talking about. I know a lot of people give it a lot of crap when you got number one because, oh, it's too expensive. You know, it's, it's just the same flavor profile throughout. But the great thing about it is the flavors you're getting are phenomenal on that thing. I mean, they're just out, outstanding. And if you take into account, you're really getting the size of two Toros, I would say, oh, easily. burn time out of that. Easily. Um, you really would cut that price in half. Yeah. And that's the price you're paying. And that's way reasonable. I No, I definitely agree. Yeah, we made that point before, and I think it definitely holds, holds true. Oh, absolutely. And I can't wait for next, uh, well, not next week, I guess, technically. It's just a couple days. I know it is next week, but I cannot wait to reveal the number ones because what I'm saying about this is just as true, if not more, for the next ones. And another, and a couple more reasons why it didn't get number one. And with everything I'm saying about this, I, I'm not going to give away too much, but really expect something phenomenal for number one. Um, my goodness, there's just so many good cigars out there that it was very difficult to make this decision to put it number two instead of number one. Mm -hmm. But... My reasonings behind it, I won't go too much into now just because I want to give something for them. And um, I, I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and hope you have a chance to get a hold of an Andalusian bull to enjoy. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, I do think our number ones, you guys, are, are going to be well-received. Um, so. Oh, wow. I was uh, on the watch this one and I'm looking at Baker Gentleman and... <laughs> Sorry, you guys. I did not even notice it was on two different pages I was watching. So, Andrew, how's it going? Efren's watching from the lounge. You could have come over, brother. I apologize. I just saw that come right now. Oh, jeez. Uh, Freddie and Gilbert, both of you guys, thank you so much for joining us. Thank Randy, you. thank you for joining us. Um, yeah, sorry. I was watching on Watson's page. I just pulled the Baker Show Gentleman page. I didn't realize oh, that. So, my phone's dead. It's on the charger trying to get back to life. I didn't realize it wasn't charging earlier. And it was at, I think, 11% when we started. Like, There's no yeah, that would not have made it through the show. No, that's uh, my fault, guys. <coughs> but... With Monday being Christmas Eve, you guys, we are going to do a show from Cigars and More to reveal our number one cigar of the year. Uh, real quick, for the few people that are watching, uh, both on YouTube and Facebook, what would your number one cigar of 2018 be? Uh, would it be something from a core line like Oliva, Avo? Uh, excuse me. Wow. That uh, rocks are kicking me. Frankie's is groovy blue. <laughs> I ruined it. I'm sorry. Frankie's is groovy blue. Rocky Patel. Um, Romeo, Monty, you know, one of the core brands, or would it be something for RLD, or would it be something from Sinistro, uh, Roma Craft, Southern Draw, Cattle Baron, uh, M Bombay? Um, yeah, that's another one. I wish we would have been able to get a hold of it because it probably would have been on the list, but the M Cuba was phenomenal. It's a great cigar, mm -hmm. and we were lucky enough to have one with Mel, and man, I really love that M Cuba. That, that uh, white and gold label. That little peacock on there. Yeah. It's very elegant. And the cigar itself stands up to that that elegant label. And from what Mel told us, besides the people that tasted the blends and himself, we were the first people to try it. Yeah, we were definitely some of the first. And I was... That was really cool. I was blown away. It was such an honor. And uh, I cannot wait to do a full review on that for the show. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a good one, guys. If we can get Mel back for that, maybe... Uh, he doesn't have to do the review with us if he doesn't want to, but if he wants to just say... He'll rate it 100 out of 100, obviously. Oh, it well, <laughs> kind of deserves it. It's really great. It really is. And, you know, when I go back and think about it, um, I think still the Mr. Red is my highest rated cigar that we've ever done. Oh, yeah, if I remember correctly. Yeah. If I remember correctly, it was the highest rated cigar that we've ever done. And I'm going to see if I can go on to Instagram real quick and find out exactly what I rated it. Find your numbers um, real quick? Yeah. 
You also rated, uh, I believe, the um, Havana Honey very high. You oh, it was like the highest of the high, yeah. But uh, that's for another day, you know, the whole other video. Well, he's looking for that, guys. I just want to do a little something right now real quick. Some stuff we got lately from the shop. And I'm very excited for this. I know we've talked about it a few times on the show before, but now they're actually in stock. I have right here in my hand a PDR. It is a cafe line. This is the medium roast. And from what Jeremy described, it's not infused so much as it is lightly, um, kind of dabbed just very lightly with uh, a coffee uh, flavoring, a natural coffee flavoring, and uh, a sugar extract, basically. They uh, use uh, sugar cane, not aspartame. The actual sugar cane, yeah. Yeah, so that was really, really cool when he was telling us about that. I very much love that. And, um, yeah, he was just letting us know, you know, all the nuances that go into to making that. It is a premium hand-rolled long fill uh cigar and they just happen to put that that dab that stuff on there and it gives it that coffee flavor so for those of you that guys that like the uh, coffee flavored cigars that's definitely something that might be right up your guys's alley yeah or wait and you can have our <coughs> our infused one with us see if you like that or not let us know if we do a good job oh yeah i, I can't wait for those episodes because it begin it's going to be something that we can do together with those who uh sign up for the patreon and it's something that only those who sign up will have. Mm -hmm. You won't be able to replicate it yourself because you're not going to have the exact same things that we're doing. All those cigars will be 100% unique. And I, I'm really looking forward to those episodes. Now, uh, Step 7 put, puts in there the Macanoodle M, our nice infused affordable puff. And I always get it backwards. The, Mac, the M by Macanoodle either has just a filler flavor or the wrapper and binder that are flavored. It's one or the other. I think it's just a binder. Um, I, I think it, it's either the binder and wrapper, it's the two, or the filler. I don't remember which, uh, but it's one of those two parts that are actually flavored. So it's not the entire cigar. Now, I've smoked quite a few of the M by Macanudos, and the only problem I found with those, well, not the only, I always have burn issues with them. One of them tunneled super bad to where when I tapped the ash, about a third of the cigar uh, inner tobacco fell out, burnt. Well, the outer part was still not burned. Yeah, it was um, insane. I get really bad burn lines um, on on the wrapper where it's just not even. Yeah. And, yeah, so, I mean, as much as I enjoy the flavors uh, of the Mac and by Macanudo, I just, I have too many issues with it. There, there are a lot of construction issues, and you weren't alone on that. I had one that burned horribly. Uh, Mitch had two, uh, not back-to-back, -back, but on different occasions. I also had some really bad burn issues, and it was just disappointing because I really liked the way they went about making that cigar. A lot of people came out with ideas to not over-flavor um, over, uh, their cigars, mm -hmm. but still kind of try to appeal to those uh, who like natural flavors. Yeah. And the idea, the concept was great. The flavors were really great. When it was, you know, on point for as far as the burn went, but once it was off, it was just almost impossible to enjoy. Yeah, and uh, he said not as good as the Jewish State Red Eye. Uh, if I'm gonna go with the coffee flavored cigar and I don't have PDR on me, I like the Nub Cafe line. Yeah, the Nub Cafe line's good. I like the tobacco. Um, those are really great. Yeah. Um, yeah, the Nub Cafes they are good. The espresso is really nice. I mm -hmm. like that one a lot. Mm -hmm. um, not the macchiato though. Not the macchiato. Cannot stand. No. It's the only cigar we'll never have again. Um, the East of the Soul is really great, too. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. It's a little sweeter than coffee flavor, really, but it's still a really great smoke. Um, so there's a lot of options out there for guys who like that coffee-flavored cigar. And um, it's nice to have something a little sweet if you like your black coffee. One of my favorite combos uh, out there. Y yes, Nub is Oliva. Yeah, that's why when I got the Ashtray, they also gave me the the lighter. They are the same company. Nub is a subsidiary of Oliva. Yeah, and they do a great job with those nubs. They, they really do. do they them. really, really do. Um but we are coming up on time, guys. we got about a minute 20 left. Uh, so with that being said, I want to thank everybody that watched us on Facebook, uh, everybody that watched us on, on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for that. We do appreciate it. Uh, to all of you that watched the trailer for our movie, Christmas Party Massacre, uh, thank you so much. It's on the Facebook page. Uh, you guys can watch it. Uh, it should be a little bit lower. I might pin it to the top uh, so you guys can see it. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining us tonight. We know that the uh, Christmas is just around the corner. And uh, people are busy with family and stuff like that. We do appreciate you guys taking the time uh, to watch us. We will be live from Cigars and More this Monday, Christmas Eve at 1130. Uh, so if you guys <coughs> if 
can join us, uh, please do. We will be revealing our number one cigar of the year. And uh, I think you guys are going to be uh, uh, enjoying what we pick. Uh, I know Miguel put a lot of thought into his. I put a lot of thought into mine. And I hope you guys enjoy our pick. So uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, and lastly, don't forget, you guys, Cigars for Warriors needs your help. Please donate what you can, when you can. And everything you guys do donate is greatly, greatly appreciated. So uh, we will see you guys next time. That will be Monday, you guys, not Tuesday. Uh, Monday at 11.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Have a good night, guys. Thank you for watching.